Hey, it's Renee. Hi guys. I wanted to do a really quick video of my latest um, vintage embellishments for junk journaling. Um, it's a kit that I put together and it's kind of got a lot of stuff going on here. I try my best not to overdo it um, like I used to do with some other kits that I've sold in my Etsy shop. But yeah, it's sometimes it's hard for me to just stop it. Just stop it. Okay. Anyway, um, let me start with the paper. Everything is pretty much, um, there's some little scrap things here, and I tried to do this all in like uh, fall and autumn um, season theme, sort of like um, August, September, October, November theme. Um, so the colors are some oranges and corals and browns and obviously vintage tan um, colors. So anyway, um, here's some of those little tickets. I've got some more um in here somewhere. I don't know where everything is. I just kind of randomly threw it all together. There's some old coin holders in orange and tan and green. And those are really, really, really old. They've even got like naturally distressed sides to them. Um, and then I put some images. I put some males in here um, this time because it'd be kind of cool to see what males look like in a junk journal. Or at least I imagine to see what they look like. And then this was gifted to me um, and some Happy Mail. I think that would be really cute. And then this is a little coffee dyed. Everything in here is coffee dyed. If it's not, I'll tell you. But everything is coffee dyed. That's a little journaling card. A little scrap piece of paper from an old book page. And I cut it around the edges with the, um, I don't know what you call those scissors, the ones with the jagged edges. Um, I can't remember what they're called. But anyway, you guys know what I'm talking about. So... That's that. I think that would make a cute little embellishment on something. An old vintage um, index card, number 19. Um, this I usually stamp. This is just a brown piece of wrapping paper, and I coffee dyed it, um, and the stamp came through um, from this side to this side. I usually will put stamps up here, but I decided to leave it blank this time and let the um, buyer put his or her own um, stamps inside. And then here's just some scrap papers, um, music sheets. Um, this is not coffee dyed. These are not coffee dyed. Um, in fact, this sheet right here is really old and naturally distressed. It's from the 1800s. A lot of people have this kind of paper, um, but I need to stop hoarding it and use it. Um, so there's that. These are more, these are vintage also, but they're, they don't have that yellowing. Um, and those are just scrap pieces. Okay, and these scrap pieces come from um, some planners or something. And this is really cute. I threw this in because I thought this would make a really cute um, pocket. Um, it's tiny. It measures, it's one of those itty-bitty little bags that I got from the local corner store. It's about five and a half. Yeah, five and a half by three. It's really tiny. Um, and really cute. I didn't coffee dye that though. And then here's some tags. And what I've done is um, I don't have any distress ink or anything like that. Maybe one of these days um, when I can afford it, I'll buy some um, to add even more interest to my kits. But I just coffee dye the paper, this paper, which is index paper, um, and just kind of rub it back and forth on an ink pad. Um, and it's not all that pretty or all that shabby so to speak the edges are more defined than distressed ink uh, would probably make it look like but that's the point of the coffee dye I suppose I don't know I'm still learning and then there's a cute little backspace stamp there's another one this one I left blank no stamps just coffee dye and this one has an image on it and again I don't have a tiny attacher so I just kind of have to use um, my regular stapler and I kind of punched it there and it didn't work out and I said a few cuss words um, dead nabbit was probably one of them that's the nicer version of what I said and just kind of went with it I'll get me a tiny attacher one of these days and then this is one of my favorite images um, she didn't come out she's on pattern paper coffee dyed not pattern paper but um, from a paper pad that I found at the thrift store that still had a lot of pages in it. Because I try not to buy anything new. I can't stress that enough. 
this is interesting because usually this lady comes out really pretty and, and well defined and dark, but I used an ink pad that I got from my great auntie, um, her little inheritance. We just recently lost her, so I got a lot of cute little old things from her. She was a notary public, so she had an old stamp um, from ooh, way back when she first started doing notary work. And it's kind of still got some ink in there, but kind of not. <laughs> so I thought that was cute. And then this, I love this stamp. Um, I, I've included that in some of my um, embellishment kits before. I love that Indian red ink. I just got that ink pad not too long ago. I think it's called Sepia Archival Ink. And then I corner punched it and left some of my weird coffee dye stains and patterns in there. They're kind of pretty. Um, this one is blank. Okay, and then these are some book images um, that I just ripped out. I didn't scan these or anything. They just came straight out of an art book. Um, they're kind of neat because they measure, let me see, I don't want to move you guys around too much. They measure like, you just shy more than two, almost two, two and three-fourths, the, the whole page. And then the images are roughly an inch yeah, about an inch and a half or so, it looks like. So those are really cute. I think those are make some cute little tags or page embellishments. Um, this lady, I think I got from the internet. Um, she's so pretty. Really beautiful. And I just coffee dyed um, some index cards, the big ones. And I just threw some Mod Podge on top of that and corner punched. So whoever gets the buys the... This embellishment kit will get that and probably can, you know, use it for journaling on the back. Um, this beautiful lady um, came out of a book. And this book was a 1990s, 80s book. Um, I saw her image in there and just circled it out and thought it would be pretty in a journal. Um, this is an old black and white photograph of a little baby just kind of wandering around. Right? really wandering around when you look at that background <laughs> maybe it's a countryside scene I don't know but in any event um, this was torn out of an old old um, photo album and the black paper um, is very very sturdy but it's that kind of paper that you can tear and I didn't want to try and take the photo the photo off of the um, the paper because I didn't want to tear it anymore so the artist um, journalist can do whatever however he or she would like to handle that. And in this image, I love these ladies. I wonder what they're talking about. They're gossiping, I think. I wonder what about, hmm. Or maybe they're talking about old time lovers, past time lovers or something. Yeah, I love those dresses and love the hairdo. This is just planted on regular everyday copy paper and it was an image I found online. Because um, I've, I've been trying to play around with um, scanning and inks and all that kind of stuff with printers and what works and what doesn't. This is really cool. This is a, a um, dust jacket, a DJ, from a book. And I thought it was so pretty because it's already shabby chic. Right? The pinks, the greens. Love that. Kind of not fall colors, but I stuck it in there anyway. Um, and so, you know, I think it would make a really cute signature cover or a, I don't know, embellishment, something. Some artists will know what to do with it. Um, and then this is a scanned image on regular copy paper. I have the original to this, which I don't mind getting rid of. I just grabbed this, and this is just waltzing. It came out of an old book that I found um, of people dancing around in their Victorian attire, in their Victorian regalia. And they look pretty cool. They look happy. Um, so those will be cute, maybe as um, journaling cards. Um, they measure, I really don't have time for the measurements, guys, but let me try four and a half. That one does by, oh, let's see, two and a quarter or something like that. But they're on plain paper, not coffee dyed. Okay, there's some scraps, notes. That would make some cute backing for journaling spots. And then this is all coffee dyed paper. And that's just a piece of, really really heavy cardstock paper I like the feel of that I coffee dyed it um, and yeah it might make a photo um, space for photos this is coffee dyed it's a 
uh, drawing paper it came out of a drawing book that I found and it took the image of one of my really big index cards right there in the center. <laughs> I'm still learning um, to coffee dye stuff. <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was kind of neat though. Yeah, just kind of, I don't know. And then this is a little bit heavier paper. Um, this is actually like really thick. You can hear it. Um, I don't know. It's cardstock. Who knows? I have so much stuff. I just grab stuff and throw it in the coffee and bake it in the oven. This is a scan sheet. I have the original to this that I don't mind getting rid of at some point. But I just wanted to play around. It. Like I said, I'm playing around with scanning things um, and what inks work, what copiers work, and all that kind of stuff. So I threw that in there. These are original pages, vic, uh, vintage pages. This is not coffee dyed. It really does look like that. It's an old page of some record keeping. Junior Women's Garden Club. Yep. There's that. And then I coffee dyed some Chinese. Is this Chinese? Yeah. Asian lettering. I'll just say that. Paper coffee dye. It's really pretty. And then this is my favorite. This is the paper I sell in my Etsy shop that I coffee dyed and it's nice and crinkly. It comes in um, 12 by 12. I got to remeasure it to be sure, but I think it's 12 by 12. I have a whole stack of it. I just love it. I coffee dyed so much of it. So I've only sold one pack of it um, from my Etsy shop and the lady gave me really good feedback for it. Um, she said the coloring was interesting kind of pinkish a little bit but brownish sepia um, it's really crinkly another music sheet and some coffee dyed um, graph paper some of it went through some of it didn't I think I just put some graph book paper in a, a graph paper in a tub and threw the coffee down in there I didn't open it just to, to make sure every page got colored um, same thing with this and this is an old statistic um, population and economic um, page from an old book. It's like a copy of a copy. I score a lot of the old books too from my, the university where I teach. So yeah, that's some cool stuff. And the book covers of those are really cool. And then in this kit, I threw in um, a gutted book. Um, so if the buyer um, chooses to use a cereal box, which I Woo love that especially the recycling idea of cereal boxes um, that's cool but I just decided to throw this in there too it's just an old um, Funkin' Wagnall um, gutted book and it's still intact right I sell these two on my shop usually in um, numbers of like five or six something like that so I threw that in there and that way the artist can go through and use that if he or she chooses that's available and then what else do I have um, oh the rest of this is some other cool stuff let me move this out of the way with every embellishment kit um, what I do is add in a lot of very cool um, little um, buttons and jewelry pieces and embellishments and things like that so in this case here we go uh, in the kit um, will be some lace it's orange kind of fall color I suppose ah, I don't know pastel Easterish but you know it looks pretty neat as I'm learning from a lot of the junk journalists when you put this pretty lace the contrasty colors are really nice so that might be pretty up and down there. Love learning from all the ladies um, that I watch. And then here's some flowers for embellishments. Those are really cute. Um, let's see if I can turn my phone a little bit. And here's some more flowers. These are old. These are vintage. These might be paper flowers. I think is what you guys call them. But I just threw those in there. There's another little one. That came from something from my great auntie. She had a lot of little um, real flowers and fake flowers around the house. And I just took all of them and I'm using those throughout. And this is a piece of, I forgot what this is called. And I didn't bring the roll, 
excuse me, the roll with me, um, I wanted to remember what it is, but it's very harvesty looking and it's crunchy sounding. Um, and then, okay, let's see, what did I throw in here? There's, there's all kinds of stuff, guys. I won't go through everything, but there's an old earring that might be used as an embellishment piece. There's some of those little bling stones. Here's some flat back pearls, some buttons that I just scored the other day. You can see that in my um, haul video. Here's a beautiful big key. There's that, and then there's some old broken jewelry there with some pretty beads on them. That's kind of harvesty color. And let's see, what else? Just a bunch of other little rings and doodads and things like that. There's some more of the bling buttons, buttons, buttons. I didn't put any charms in here. There's a piece of ribbon that would be really cute on top of something. And I'm going to have to add some charms. I promise I'll put some little charms in here. Maybe um, a key and a heart I'll add to there, to the uh, kit. And then there's some pretty white lace. And this is the, t this is the um, floss that I used to sew in my little vintage journal I made the other day as a thank you to a lady who bought one of these kits for me. This is, um, I think it's 100% cotton. It's really nice, easy to use. So there's that. Hopefully you guys can see all that. Love the bling. And that's the latest vintage embellishment kit for junk jerks. Okay. Okay, that's it for now, and then I hope to um, list a couple of more of these um, before fall semester begins. Okay, thanks everybody. Have a very, very beautiful weekend. Bye!